How's it going, everybody? It's Camo here, and as you can see, I am back. Got some gameplay of some Portal 2, doing those first few puzzles. They're really easy, but today I want to talk to you all about difficulty in gaming. Kind of ironic, doing an easy game and talking about difficulty. But, you know, anyway, where to start out? Games nowadays don't have the same difficulty that games used to have. For example, in Contra, you had to go through the entire game with only three lives. And that was really difficult. The game was fairly, pretty long, and the levels were difficult. And to do that with only three lives, it was almost ridiculous. So, I mean, yes, they gave the Contra code, and, you know, you didn't have to worry about uh, that if you used it, but to finish the game without using the Contra code was really difficult, so... Um, and, I don't know, modern game developers kind of have this idea that in order to make a game difficult, they have to, uh, they just have to increase the AI or increase the amount of damage that the AI does to you or increase the regeneration time from whenever you take damage, you know, things like that, and that is not entertainingly difficult. Um, what modern game developers, I think they've failed to understand, is that gamers enjoy a, a challenge. They enjoy a game where they don't feel ripped off whenever they lose or they die, because if it's a challenge, if it's literally, it's their own fault, you know, there's nothing else that could have been. They didn't feel ripped off. They don't feel like they got cheated by the game. When they know that it's their fault, they enjoy it. And they're willing to, you know, try it again. But whenever whenever the game seems unfair or the game feels cheated, it gets annoying. And that's annoying difficulty. But an enjoying difficulty, you know, is where the game has set up everything that you need. And it's your choices that affect whether or not you succeed. For example, in Dead Space 2, the difficulty is not in how smart or how much damage the necromorphs do to you, even though, yes, they do increase the da damage just slightly in the higher difficulties, but the real challenge in surviving Dead Space 2 in the higher difficulties is in the the resources, the the guns and the ammo and the med packs, they are a lot harder to find in the game, and uh, as are the credits which you can use to buy the things at stores. So that's difficult, and that is a actually good difficulty because you the gamer has to allocate, you know, he has to choose which source resources he preserves and everything like that. And that's fine, but in games such as Call of Duty, where the difficulty, the only difference between the lowest and the highest difficulty is just the amount of damage that the uh, AI does and the time between your when your health regen begins. That is really annoying because, in, especially in the newest Call of Duties, it seems that on veteran you will just spend hours on a level and 45 minutes of an hour you would be spending hiding behind a cover waiting for your health to regen, to pop out of cover, shoot one bullet, and you're back to hiding behind, waiting for your health to regenerate again. That's annoying. That is not fun. Right? And, and some games have started to come back to the difficult uh, game design. For example, I Am Alive has the, the stamina system, which it I can understand where it can get annoying, because you can be put into situations where you could just feel screwed because there's nothing you can do. However, I can also see the game... I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Everything is based on stamina, not just climbing. So it kind of forces the gamer to more think. It's, in all reality, I Am Alive is a survival simulation, if anything else. So that's, where, that's why I think that that is a nice challenge. Uh, another game that has is starting to be more difficult is uh, Dark Souls, which I personally haven't played it. I've only seen gameplay of it, but 
from what I can see, it... Uh, how to describe it? You, you... It takes away the regular hack and slash of modern RPGs and replaces it with a much more designed theme around it of that you have to, you know, you have to block, you have to time your attacks, and everything like that. Yeah, and I enjoy that. Uh, one another RPG, I know I'm getting everywhere, is Skyrim. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Skyrim. I love the game, I could play it for hours on M's. But I feel it is horribly dumbed down. From If you go from Oblivion to Skyrim, it's way too easy. You could place... Um, Oblivion, no, you you can play Skyrim, no problem, no fuss, no hassle. But Oblivion, it is ridiculous. If you don't have your thing set up right, you know you you're really screwed. And that's the challenge. It's enjoyable, but it, in Skyrim, you don't have to do anything. No matter what you do, no matter how you set up your thing, you can still win. You can still, you know, survive. And, I don't know, I just don't like... I, I love Skyrim, I just don't like a game that does that. But, anyway, guys, that's all I got to say. I'm running quickly out of time here. Uh, like the uh, video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for watching. My name is Camo. Happy hunting, and Camo out.